Hello, bonjour, buenas noches, Bundesliga. Welcome to the very first episode of what is going to be a daily vlog. I've managed to clear some space in my work schedule mm. and I'm going to visit a different place each day partly because I want to entertain you the viewer yeah! but mainly because my flat is uninhabitable due to building work which has been going on between between the hours of 8pm and 4pm every day for one year an entire year so today I'm going to the Barbican. Barbican. This was built in 1982, but it looks like some sort of 1970s prison because it took them 10 years apparently to finish it. I mean, this all looks very nice, but just over here, I once saw a seagull take a duckling from its mother and murder it for no reason. Just over there. Let's go and have a look inside. The Barbican is also hosts the worst sort of people that mankind has ever spawned. Yes, that's right. Internet thieves. This place is absolutely packed with internet thieves. We've all got something in common. Number one, we've all got Mac computers. Number two, they're all drinking coffee very, very slowly. And three, they all look like they think they're better than me. I mean, there are a lot of ponces here. There's even people just round the corner. Just doing Shakespeare out loud. Well, there you have it, the Barbican. A very nice place to come if you're going to the theatre or an exhibition or the restaurant or business like that. Um, my favourite bit was the foot operated tap in the toilet. If you're going for a coffee, it's um, a place chock full of bellet even on a Monday now I think I'll go to the Museum of London everywhere you go in London it's building it's non-stop building I'm going to be sick in my own mouth for any more building the Museum of London. Time for a very concise and inaccurate history of London. There are loads of massive animals we don't see today and people made pots and sorts and everything was shit till the Romans came along. They civilised everything, they did roads, they made lovely towns, then they pissed off. Nothing happened for ages. And then people built lots of nice buildings out of wood. Shakespeare did some plays and then uh-oh, it was the Great Fire of London. Everything burnt down. Oh, shit. This is a firefighter's hat from the Great Fire of London. I mean, the, their heads were a lot smaller back then. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why women find firefighters very attractive. And then everything stank of piss and everyone got ill. What is quite disturbing is that this wax head of a girl with syphilis looks a lot like me. I'm here in the pleasure garden. It's a recreation of a pleasure garden where people used to come, dress up in their nice clothes, listen to music. It's a lot nicer than I thought. I mean, if you see a sign of pleasure gardens in the 21st century, it's probably going to be a gay sauna. I've come to a recreation of an old tailor shop. 
Oh, I say, old chap, did you manage to get that egg stain off the front of my trousers? And now I've come to the old grocer's. I say, can I have some egg and cheese from your missus? Pubs, still exactly the same. Do you care for number one, sir? Here's the lift from Selfridges. Every time I see Model Adam, I always have a temptation to check with her. They put the undercarriage on. On some they have. Is that only the bloody Olympic torch? Door of the day. I've been to maybe 100 museums in my lifetime and I have never, ever seen one uh, foreign tourist teenager show any interest in anything at any museum. Why not just put them all into a disco and let them, you know, finger each other? That's all they want to do. They're not interested in anything in museums, they're just getting away. There we are. Loads of bored teenagers. <laughs> What a moderately enjoyable experience. Stepped in some dog shit, and here's my summary. My main observation is, is that children and teenagers should never ever be allowed out in public. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for more moderate fun. Why not subscribe here?